Leif Erikson. Introduction. What does explore mean? It means to travel to a new place to learn more about it. You can explore an area near your house, or you can explore a new town with your family. When we think of explorers, we usually think of famous explorers like Christopher Columbus. But there were explorers long before Columbus sailed for the New World in 1492. And there are still explorers today, like space astronauts. Want to explore? In this series of books, we will learn about some of the world's most famous explorers. Who was Leif Erikson? Leif Erikson was a Norse explorer and the first European to land in North America. Norse means person from the north and refers to people who lived in Scandinavia about 1,000 years ago. Erikson's discovery happened about 500 years before Christopher Columbus left Spain in 1492 and landed in America. Leif Erikson's father was another famous explorer, Eric the Red. Eric the Red founded colonies on Greenland. Leif Erikson sailed to Norway and on his return to Greenland accidentally found America. Early Years Leif Erikson was born over 1,000 years ago. Historians are not sure of the exact date, but they think he was probably born around 970 or 980. They are also not sure where he was born, but most people think he was born in Iceland because this is where his parents met. His father's name was Eric Thorvaldsen. Because his hair and beard were red, he was given the name of Eric the Red. Leif Erikson's mother's name was Theodeld. He had two brothers, Thorsten and Thorvaldur, and one sister named Freydis. Leif Erikson's Family Tree Many Norse names end with son, like Erikson. Leif Erikson's last name means son of Eric. The last name of Leif's father, Eric, was Thorvaldsen. So Eric the Red was the son of Thorvald. Eric the Red was the son of Thorvald as Valdsen. He was Leif Erikson's grandfather. Can you guess what Thorvald's father's first name was? That's right. Oswald. He was Oswald Olfsson. Oswald's grandfather's brother, Naduder, was the discoverer of Iceland, so Leif Erikson was not the only explorer in his family. Why Leif Erikson was born in Iceland? Leif Erikson's grandfather, Thorvald Oswaldsson, was born in Norway, part of Scandinavia. This is why we call them Norse. Thorvald Edvaldsson killed a man in Norway, and because of his crime, he was banished forever from Norway by the king of Norway, Harald Fairhair. Thorvald sailed west from Norway to northwest Iceland with his family, including Leif Erikson's father, Eric the Red. Eric the Red met his wife, Theodild, in Iceland. They built a farm in Iceland and had a son, Leif Erikson. Why Leif Erikson's father went to Greenland just as his father had been exiled from Norway because of his crimes, Eric the Red was banished from Iceland for the same reason. During a fight, Eric the Red killed some men and had to leave Iceland for three years. Other Norsemen had sailed west of Iceland and had found Greenland. Some tried to settle there, but they failed. In 982, Eric went to Greenland for three years. No one knew much about Greenland at this time. Eric spent his three years in exile exploring Greenland's coastline. He made an important discovery. Leif and his family moved to Greenland. Eric the Red found that parts of Greenland were ice-free. This meant people could live there and farm the land. After his exile, he returned to Iceland and told people good things about the land where he had lived. He called the new land Greenland because it sounded nicer than... Iceland. The soil was poor in Iceland, and there had been a recent famine, so people were eager to move to Greenland. Ships were made ready, and the adventure began. Eventually, 25 ships sailed. 14 made it to Greenland, but 11 
did not. Life in Greenland Eric the Red set up the first permanent settlement in Greenland. There were two colonies. One was the Eastern Settlement, and the other was the Western Settlement. They were both on the southern coast of Greenland, so the people were able to farm. Leif's family lived in the Eastern Settlement of about 5,000 people. During the warm summer months, it was easier to travel, so groups of men sailed north into the Arctic Circle. There they found things they needed like walrus tusks and seals, which were used for rope. Blown off course. In the year 999, Leif Erikson sailed with a crew from Greenland. Their goal was to reach Norway, but the wind blew them off course. They ended up at the Hebrides Islands. These are islands on the west coast of what is now Scotland. Ericsson must have liked the Hebrides Islands. He stayed the whole summer there. He also met a noblewoman by the name of Thorgana. They had a son and named him Thorgils. Much later, Thorgils was sent to Greenland to live with his father. In the meantime, Ericsson continued his trip. Arriving in Norway After leaving the Hebrides Islands, Ericsson and his crew continued their voyage and eventually arrived at their destination, Norway. Here he became a herdman of the king of Norway, King Olaf Tryggvason. Herd or herdman means household or family in Scandinavian languages. In Norwegian history, a herd or herdman was a guard in the royal army, but very close to the king, almost like a bodyguard. But there was one other important thing that happened in Norway and plays a part in Ericsson finding America. Christianity All of Ericsson's family were followers of the old Norse religion. King Olaf Tryggvason was the great-grandson of King Harald Fairhair, the first king of Norway, and the king who banished Ericsson's grandfather from Norway. King Olaf is famous for wanting his people to change from the old Norse religion to Christianity. He talked to Ericsson about Christianity, and Ericsson agreed to become a Christian. He also agreed to take a Christian priest back with him to Greenland to tell people about Christianity. Blown off course again. King Olaf gave Ericsson the mission to introduce Christianity to the people of Greenland. Ericsson and his crew left Norway and sailed towards Greenland, but the winds blew them off course far to the west of Greenland, and they came to a land they didn't recognize at first. Sagas are ancient Scandinavian stories. According to the sagas, Ericsson rescued two shipwrecked European men. If this is true, then these two men were the first Europeans to set foot on America. Ericsson returned to Greenland with an idea. Exploring America Ericsson and a crew of 35 men left Greenland and sailed west. They first arrived at what he called Hallolund, or Flat Rock Land, which was possibly Baffin Island in Canada. Next, they found Markland, or Forest Land, which was possibly Labrador. Then they found a place he named Vinland, because they found vines and grapes here. They built a settlement here before returning to Greenland. There is an old Norse settlement at Lons Omido in Newfoundland, and that some people believe is Ericsson's settlement. How the World Remembers Leif Ericsson The world remembers Leif Ericsson as the first European to find and establish a settlement in North America 500 years before Christopher Columbus arrived in the New World. He is also remembered as the son of Eric the Red and also the man who brought Christianity to the settlements in Greenland. Because of his explorations, other Norsemen were inspired to look for the new land west of Greenland. Here are some things that help us remember Leif Erikson. Leif Erikson Day, October 9th, United States. Leif Erikson Park, Duluth. Leif Erikson Postage Stamp, United States. Leif Erikson Statue, Boston. Leif Erikson Statue, Chicago. 
Leif Erikson Statue, Duluth. Leif Erikson Statue, Milwaukee. Leif Erikson Statue, Seattle. Leif Erikson Statue, St. Paul. Painting, Leif Erikson Discovers America by Norwegian artist Christian Kroch.